have a chance to um, hear the name and it's about 20 years ago. It was Jonathan Wilkins. And I come to this country thanks to Stanislav Popov and a kind of long story. Um, Stanislav Popov tried to introduce me to uh, one of the person who uh, looking for partner and he thought it would be great uh, chance for me to come to US and dance with Jonathan. And now, 20 years ago, we have finally danced together. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan, for to come to Seattle. Jonathan, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, uh, I'm English, so um, I was born just southwest of England, which is about 20 minutes outside of West London. And uh, I grew up in a small town and uh, started dancing when I was five, six years old. And I danced uh, throughout all my younger years, uh, juvenile, junior, youth. And then I came to America when I was 20. And um, that's almost 20 years ago. So uh, uh, it's been a long time. And um, I, I, again, from the day I arrived uh, in uh, America, New York, um, I haven't stopped dancing. Uh, I had a long career. Um, Tell us, what did you achieve here in America or in the world? Well... Or maybe in England? Well, both. I mean, um, uh, in America, um, obviously, we were champion for 10 years undefeated. So we were the United States professional ballroom champions. Uh, we were the United States uh, show dance champions. We were the world professional show dance champions. We won Ohio Star Ball uh, six, seven, eight times. Um, I, I don't think there was a competition in America we didn't win. I think we won just about every competition. We were undefeated for over, over 10 years mm -hmm. um, before switching partners. And then I danced with Hazel Newberry from England. And then with Hazel, we were British champions, uh, European champions. Um, so. Results-wise, you know, obviously UK, Blackpool, International. Um, I got up to second place, didn't quite manage first place, but uh, but I'm happy. I mean, um, it's been a long, enjoyable career, and uh, you know, I've had the uh, luck to basically need a lot of friends, as you mentioned. We met uh, almost 20 years ago, and uh, tell about more. Well, it's, it's like fate. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, I remember when I was in Fred Astaire, the studio I was working at when I first came to New York, and I remember one day I was dancing with one of the teachers from the studio, but she wasn't very experienced, and I was looking for a partner. And then somebody came into the studio with a picture of a girl coming over from Russia and uh, her name was Olga, but of course I didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. um, this was before a lot of the Russian uh, girls uh, or couples came over. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting the picture thinking, oh wow, this would be like, this would be nice. Like, wow, a Russian girl, da 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 da. But um, I think it wasn't supposed to be. I mean, you ended up going to Seattle and I was in New York, so we never really got together. But I remember getting your picture and uh, it must have been obviously the time you must have still been in Russia mm -hmm. and um, it was maybe a year after that that I ended up then dancing with Katusha mm -hmm. who was also from Russia mm -hmm. uh, so it's funny we sort of took different paths and uh, you were very successful I went on to do many things too so uh, and then all of a sudden we're back in Seattle right now and you know so it's it's interesting I like the West Coast. Um, I'm from New York now, but um, I like Seattle. I, li I, I, I like the feeling, you know, and um, the people that I meet mostly through dancing, um, the couples seem dedicated. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the first time, obviously, coming to your studio. Mm -hmm. um, and the studio itself, I must say, is, is, if not the best, it's one of the best studios I've ever seen. And um, I've I've obviously been to a lot of studios in North America, but um, I've been to a lot of studios in Asia, all over Japan, Korea, and 
the size of this studio, obviously it's relatively new. Um, you have a large ballroom, you have then the small room, but you have a kitchenette area, you have changing area, the music system is very good. Um, I don't think I've been to a studio that is this complete, just, just has everything from changing to the quality of the floor, the music system. I mean, I'm from New York, and if this studio was in New York, I don't think people people would be. Uh, I mean, I, I have a nice studio, but but it's in in comparison to this, this this is a beautiful space. Now um, I have more opportunity to travel, so um, it's it's great. You know, if uh, I love to teach, I love to come to uh, nice studios. Uh, and, um, you know, so actually, you know, yes, uh, if all the couples uh, want more lessons, then no problem. <laughs> Kolya and Asha, um, actually very impressed. Um, for their young age, um, in American standards, because in America it's quite hard to get kids that young so serious. Um, obviously they have a, a Russian background, mm -hmm. but, you know, um, saying that you know they they in russia let's say they push their kids mm -hmm. i think a little bit more than they do here in america um but it was a pleasure to work with them because you could see that that there was something inside of them you know even at that young age there's something inside you can see that they they want it you can see that that, that extra little stretch, that extra little little effort. Mm -hmm. So um, as a teacher, you, you, that's, that's all you want. You want them to try hard mm -hmm. um, and you know the idea then is to push them as much as possible, mm -hmm. give them the best opportunity. Mm -hmm. But um, actually very talented. Mm -hmm. So um, a, a little bit more work and um, they could be doing very well. Okay. If they were to go to Blackpool right now for the experience, mm -hmm. I'm sure that they would still do reasonably well. Um, they're t it's too young for them to be in the finals. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the Ukrainian couples, the Russian couples, there's some couples there that have been training for years mm -hmm. uh, for this Blackpool. But they have at minimum two more years, mm -hmm. two to three more years in the under 12 division. Mm -hmm. And with, if they were to start this year, if they could go this year, uh, you as parents go take them soak up the atmosphere, also have a look at the other couples, look at the competition, and for the kids, just for them to be exposed to that, 100% they would come home mm -hmm. and already they would be enthused. They would, they would know what it means when you're telling them, I'm telling them more, mm -hmm. hold your frame, mm -hmm. drive. They need, they need something to, to visualize and, and motivate themselves because Unless they, unless they know what it means to hold those arms, mm -hmm. to keep it going, you know. So um, the best opportunity, the best, best thing would, you know, for them to go, enjoy themselves, come back. Mm -hmm. um, but the main, the main goal would be obviously next Blackpool, the Blackpool mm -hmm. after. And each teacher has their own experience, their own feeling. What do you think, uh, what the main thing you want to develop or what you want to build up in the couples as a teacher? Oh, well, a lot of it depends on the couple, depends on the age. But um, I think when you're dealing with kids, you know, uh, parents like to obviously push their kids as much as possible, which they should. But, you know, the most important thing from the early stage it's, are the fundamentals. It doesn't matter if they're doing ballet, it doesn't matter if they're doing ballroom, it doesn't matter if they're doing Latin, it doesn't matter if they're playing tennis, football, basketball, it doesn't matter. The, you go to any sport, you go to any art form, and the amount of hours that they study in ballet class long before they do their program. Mm -hmm. um, in ballroom, I think that that's missing slightly. Um, so for sure the basic fundamentals it, it doesn't matter if you're dealing with an adult couple or if you're dealing with a six and seven year old uh, juvenile couple um, in order for them to do well consistently 
over a course of years, few years, not do well at one competition, another competition, in order for them to have the foundation, in order for them to grow from. A lot of that depends on their personality, a lot of that depends on the teaching they receive, but, but no matter what, if they, if, if, if they have that basic understanding of you know, two people dancing together as one, Basically, the, the, the fundamentals, foundation, build that foundation, especially in the younger ones, mm -hmm. and then let their personality come out on top of that, but mm -hmm. you've got to give them the base. Uh, I've enjoyed coming. Uh, it's been a pleasure for the last two days. Um, I heard a lot about the Dorothy Jane studio uh, before coming. Uh, you've mentioned it a few times. Other couples have mentioned it when I've I've said to them about coming. I've been coming to the West Coast, so um, it's. Uh, I, I'm glad I've had the opportunity to come. I've heard a lot about the studio, so I wish you uh, great success, and hopefully, uh, I'll see you again soon.